Hello and welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to try and explain the difference between cloud security posture management and cloud workload protection. Uh, these are both components of the overall cloud security framework. Uh, and there are lots of tools which are able to achieve this for you as an organization. So uh, hopefully after this video, you get a better understanding of what the difference between the two is. And that will help you choose the right tools and platforms to be able to do so. So let's get started. So here I've divided uh, the, the board into two parts. Uh, the bottom part, I'm going to focus on, on the security posture management. And once we're done with that, I'll explain the uh, cloud workload protection part as well. So um, at the bottom here, let's assume we have uh, different uh, clouds, right? So for the purpose of today's example, let's say it's AWS, we have Azure, GCP right these are three different clouds they have servers running here so server one server two server three and uh, essentially what this means is when an organization is using uh, all of these clouds or one of those clouds uh, they are using one servers they're using uh, databases they are also configuring their network systems on on the clouds uh, and so on and so forth right so uh, this is essentially the part where you configure the cloud for you you configure the infrastructure this is the infra part right and what you do in order to protect this environment or in order to protect this side of your cloud is called cloud security posture management you have to look at it from the perspective of how your cloud looks how your posture is in the cloud that's where the terminology of posture comes into play and this is why people call this cspm cloud security posture management now uh, this is as far as infrastructure side is concerned now we move to the other side let's talk about workload protection so here uh, as opposed to only utilizing the cloud let's make another layer here and let's say there is a combination of public or private cloud services and this is essentially where your application environment is run right so, so if you talk about uh, private clouds let's talk about openshift from red hat uh, vmware they have something called as tanzu um, you have aws uh, AKS, EKS, so this is Azure and um, uh, uh, Amazon uh, Kubernetes engine and so on and so forth, right? So there are multiple other, uh, Google has its own as well. Now, if you, uh, and there is native Kubernetes as well, right? So let's say Kubernetes, let's put it here. And as part of this, you have your apps running containers, right? So let's say it is uh, doc, your Docker application, right? So this is app one, app two, app three, app four, and app five. Uh, however, these are all individual container services, right? So these are these have to be classified as containers running on this docker platform running on the platform of kubernetes which is essentially leveraging one of these clouds uh, uh, as well right so the difference between this and this uh, is the uh, kind of applications and kind of workloads you run here right so let's talk about the app itself so application itself is running is running on a container which we spoke about which we spoke about here these containers right uh, then there is the security part of the code, uh, the testing, configuration, and everything else, right? So um, everything that you do here is very different from how you're protecting your infrastructure because in this case, you are trying to protect the workload itself which could be an app which could be a, a microservice running on your kubernetes platform running on any of these clouds and also from the perspective of going deeper into every code that you write 
going deeper into every test that you run and essentially that pipeline of devops that you're managing inside this environment right that is why this is called cloud workload protection and that's why it's different right so these are two different functions uh, there are tools and uh, services available in the market which do a combination of both and there are tools which are only dedicated to security posture management or otherwise only dedicated to cloud workload potential protection as well and uh, this is essentially what it what i wanted to explain to you so when i uh, dig deeper into these concepts i will make individual videos about what's the importance of running security for each of these things that you see written here and what's the importance of running security for infrastructure level uh, cloud as well and when a combination of all of this matters and how you you know bring in an, uh, uh, an efficient practice for security in the cloud so this was all about cspm and cwp uh, i hope this was uh, useful for you until next time this is pritesh signing off from cloud tech talks thank you